For this tutorial I started with a chain stitch and a row of single crochet just so that it'll be a bit easier for this particular stitch. And what we're going to do today is the slip stitch. So the first thing you're going to do, um, you won't need to chain or anything like that. You'll just immediately insert your hook into the next stitch because you don't need any height for this stitch. You'll yarn over, pull through the stitch, and then pull through the single loop on your hook. Again, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, then pull through the single loop on your hook. One more time, insert the hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, then pull through the single loop on your hook. For this stitch, you usually don't use it in as a row type of stitch unless you want to sort of make a nicer edge for your work. Or you need to start crocheting with a little more height in the middle of your row and you don't want height beforehand. It's more of a shaping technique. Um, what you usually use slip stitch for is to connect the ends of your rows to make your work uh, connect into a circle or a round. And you'll see what I mean in a, in a second here. So you can see how that nice little edging would look. Anyway, so if you would want to connect your ends with the slip stitch is what and that would be what it's most commonly used for, you just make sure your work is the right side up together and then you'd insert your hook into the first stitch of the row you started yarn over and pull through that stitch, then pull through the single loop on your hook, completing your slip stitch, and your work has been connected. And then you would just continue on in whatever like single, double crochet that you were using along the top edge there, and then slip stitch together again to continue on. So that's the slip stitch. It's a pretty simple stitch but still very important. And that's the end of this tutorial.